Hello. When I say hello and greet somebody, you always smile. What is a smile? It is defined as a pleasing and amusing expression where the corners of the mouth are taken up and teeth are shown. How important the teeth in your smile. That is the most important thing. You can see this legendary Sri Lankan figure in Sri Lankan cinema and the amount of impact the teeth have on her smile is enormous. But people do say, researchers have found that you should not extend to the maximum of teeth show when you are smiling. And it is more important for the politicians, businessmen and other public figures. Whatever said and done, your teeth and facial proportions should be in par. And these proportions are typically identified by ancient Greeks. If you talk about the face, when you look from the front or from the side, you will see three equal components. That is from the hairline to the eyebrows and from eyebrows to the base of the nose. From there, the bottom part, the base of the nose to the chin are of equal sizes. This has to be reproduced if you are doing some changes to your smile or to the face. Fifth, finding in the vertical direction. So these uh, vertical fifths of the face are to be established if you are producing some changes in the face. Golden proportion or the golden ratio is something that the human beings have identified which is demonstrated in nature. Either being created by the nature or the God, it is there in nature. Starting from the galaxy, if you take an inner circle of the galaxy, you see that if you divide the outer circle by the inner circle diameter, that is giving up the golden proportion, that is 1.618. The same proportion or the golden proportion we call or the fee number is found in many things in nature. When people are creating artificial things, the buildings, the sculptures or whatever, they produce it in the same promotion, proportion that was being identified in nature, which gives a very pleasing outlook. So the Greeks, they have found the proportions in the human body, not just the face, the human body from different parts, one another, and within the same structure, they have identified the ideal proportions that would be giving a pleasing outlook. Looking at a phase of a modern beauty, you, either a modern beauty or an ancient lady, you should have the golden proportion as I was talking of. That is width to height ratio coming into 1.618. So as I told you, the infinity, the ancient Egyptian queen and the modern ladies are all having the same proportion for them to have a pleasing face and a smile. Golden proportion is also described in teeth. That is not strange as in other parts of nature. If you take a tooth in the front, one behind will be having the same proportion. Looking from front, if you look at the front tooth and the distance from mesial end or from the width of the tooth divided by the one just behind it, is coming into the golden proportion. So if you are fixing artificial teeth or doing some changes in your teeth, that has to be followed up. So diagnosing face and the smiles together with teeth, it is very much important. The very front teeth in your face are having an utmost importance. These teeth, the ones that is being struck by anybody, will be seen by anybody and you can't have changes or differences in these teeth. These should be having a very attractive outcome. Talking about the smile line, if there is a asymmetry or there are changes, one will have to look into them. They can be changed by different means. Different means in the sense you can do surgery, you can align teeth by orthodontic means. One can always consider changes in the gum line by doing small surgeries. Look at these photographs. Here on the top you see uh, an old lady where the 
the lower jaw has come forward simply because of worn teeth in the dentures. By establishing the original position, by giving a new set of dentures, by simple means of dentures, she has got a good young outcome, rather a very pleasing outlook. There are certain other things in teeth which are important in maintaining a good, pleasing smile. If there are changes in color or patches of discoloration, they have to be addressed. These are not very strange or not very uncommon. We see it in Sri Lanka as well. But they can be easily treated by simple, very non-invasive techniques like microabrasion, what you call, where you rub and as it over the surface of the teeth to get rid of that and as you see it can be easily treated. Sometimes not just the whole dentition, one or two teeth may be discolored due to they becoming dead. That can be easily treated by bleaching means which is worn by the patient just overnight. So the other important fact is that just the teeth are not having a single color or the single appearance right from the gingival margin to the edge of the tooth. The translucency is there mostly in the incisal, ter incisal third, I would say, that is near the edge of the tooth. That has to be there. And most of the time, it is the area that is seen. Some patients, rarely, they have affected teeth, badly affected teeth in color due to various diseases like dental fluorosis as you see here. But they don't want the artificial teeth to be uh, natural looking. They want the same appearance as of their natural counterparts. So we have produced a prosthesis to have the similar defect in discoloration in the artificial ones. Some patients don't get the full set of teeth. When few teeth are missing, there are problems. They get haphazardly arranged. Once they are haphazardly arranged, that is not pleasing. That doesn't give them a good appearance. So you may have to align them into the correct order and create spaces. Once the spaces are created, that is very easy for you to replace teeth in a very nice order as of in normal dentition. These things can be done when you are doing certain things, when you are prescribing artificial teeth, that can be assisted by the computer-assisted designing, which ultimately gives you a very pleasing appearance. The dimensions, as I told you, the golden proportions, everything can be reproduced by computer means. So not just the computer-assisted designing is gathered here, Furthermore, computer science assisted manufacturing will also help you to end up with a good final outcome. Look at this case. Now the midline is crooked. I was telling the midline and everything should be uh, coinciding with the facial midline. But here we have corrected simply by means of a tooth colored filling on the adjoining tooth so that the midline defect is addressed. There are certain other uh, cases that can be easily treated by camouflaging. Here uh, is a case where you have a big space between two teeth which is not aesthetically acceptable. Teeth are elongated. The space is not something that a patient would like to have. We have easily treated, as I told you, by simple means of tooth colored fillings. At certain instances, patients do have some eccentric appearances in their natural counterparts. Here, one in the, uh, one in the front is having a notch right at the middle end. It is reproduced in the artificial tooth so that no one can easily guess which tooth is artificial or the patient is having an artificial tooth in his, in his or her mouth. Here again, very unesthetic filling is there and also a tiny gap. We have filled it by simple means of tooth colored fillings. Replace the old filling, together the middle gap is restored so that the patient can have a brilliant smile. At times, we will have to give caps for the patient. We call them dental crowns. 
when the crowns are given, they should have a similar appearance to the natural counterpart. Natural counterpart, I mean the adjoining tooth on the opposite side. Here, it has to be the mirror image of the counterpart so that it is very pleasing and nicely accepted by anyone. At times, we will have to play with spacers. The spacers given are not be feasible for us to come out with good treatment outcome. Here you can see two teeth denture is given to the patient where the patient is not very happy with. Simply because the space is little too small for two teeth denture. So we have thought of giving a single denture and the remaining space to be built up with the adjoining teeth. We have done it here and this is the final outcome. You can see ultimately we have given the patient instead of the denture a resin bonded bridge just fixed to the adjoining tooth. This is the original presentation and on your right hand side you see how it has come out with the final treatment. There are various instances where we treat patients with uh, dental implants. Dental implants are the ones uh, which we use to prescribe artificial teeth. You just don't lean on adjoining teeth. You place an implant or, the, or an artificial root into the bone on which the tooth is made. But whatever the way you do, they have to have good emergence profile as of they are coming from the jaws or from the gums out nicely. You can see these in these pictures. By doing so, you, have, you can fix the outer part into the one that is fixed into the bone by means of an abutment. They can be of metal ones. You can see the metal one there on the left hand side picture onto which the crown is made which is very much aesthetically acceptable and the emergence profile is maintained as of the natural components. Here in this case, the artificial abutment is made of porcelain and there is no difference at all when you fix the ultimate crown there. So all in all, what I have to say is teeth is having a major impact on your smile. And these things can be corrected by very simple means, not going into very advanced surgical means and techniques.